Well, good morning and welcome back to our journey through Lent toward the crucifixion of Jesus and the celebration of the resurrection on Easter Sunday. Today is Holy Thursday, the final day before the crucifixion. Jesus spent his final evening with the disciples celebrating the Passover meal, but this one was more significant than all previous Passover meals celebrated by the Jews throughout their entire history. At this Passover, Jesus himself is the Passover lamb. At the meal with his disciples, as he broke the bread and declared, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And then he took the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Everything in Israel's history had been pointing to this moment. This is the launch of the new covenant, which is the kingdom. The meal signified what was about to take place, and the hour had come for the horror to unfold. Jesus takes the disciples from the Passover meal to the Garden of Gethsemane at the Mount of Olives, and we pick up the story at Luke chapter 22, verse 41. It says, He withdrew from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down, and began to pray, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. The reality of the brutality that was about to be unleashed on him had settled in, and his genuine request of the Father was, if there's any other way, can we at least consider that? But not my will, but yours be done. It's the ultimate act of humility and obedience. The very next verse states that an angel from heaven appeared to him, strengthening him. And being in agony, he was praying fervently, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling down upon the ground. Now, it's presumed by many that he literally sweat drops of blood. But that's not what the text says. He was in such intense prayer that he began to sweat, great drops of sweat falling to the ground like great drops of blood. I think the focus should be on the intensity of his prayer, facing the most intense moment of his life, facing what he knew was going to be an excruciating physical experience of being flogged and crucified and beaten. His, his prayer was a prayer for strength from the Father to face and fulfill his mission as an obedient son, as the Lamb of God who was about to be sacrificed for the sin of the whole world. And as he had previously stated with his disciples, no one was taking his life. He was giving it up. Greater love has no man than this than to lay down his life for his friends. Today, we commemorate this great struggle, this incredible act of obedience and sacrifice on our behalf. Well, thanks for joining me this morning, and I look forward to being with you again tomorrow morning as we enter the day of his crucifixion. I hope you go out and make today a great day.